Good afternoon and welcome into Mary's Kitchen. I hope that you get a chance to join me today because I'm going to show you how to make a very simple yet classic uh, Alfredo sauce. Now this was inspired uh, by a friend of mine, Pamela Broadhead, who asked me, hey Mary, I want to make something uh, like a casserole type thing. Hi there, Ginger. I want to make a casserole type thing to take to a friend's house and uh, make everything easy. And I don't want a lot of cooking to do. So I s said to her, you can prepare this beforehand. And it's really simple. There's really basically, basically three ingredients, but everything else that you add into it adds an additional element of flavor. So we've got Parmesan cheese, we've got cream and butter. So those are the three elements of Alfredo sauce. You could add some white wine to uh, take it up a level. Obviously we're gonna add some garlic and we're gonna add some fresh parsley. And if you wanna change it into a chicken Alfredo, you can add some roasted chicken as well. Evie, how are you? One of your faves. Well, Evie, this is a classic, classic Alfredo. Okay, there's no flour in this. The thickener is the Parmesan cheese. And uh, okay, there's cream in it. You could do it with milk if you want, but I would recommend probably doing it with cream. All right, everything in moderation in the uh, healthy, clean eating, and uh, everything is in moderation. So this one I wanted to share with you because, uh, I, in fact, because I'm making it this evening for my uh, dinner, but I wanted to share it with you because it is really a classic sauce, which really you can make in five minutes, all right? It takes five minutes of your time. I'll just say hello to everybody. Hi. Danalda, how are you? And Usa, hi, how are you, Usa? And Laurie, Carmen, and Bethane, nice to see you girls. Sorry, I'm getting close to the camera. I don't know why I can't, I can't. Aileen, how are you? Nice to see my old friend Aileen. We've known each other for more than 30 years now, and we've traveled around all over the place. Lynn Forrester, my butterfly ladies, just come on. Terrific. Hello, Rita. <laughs> well, th Lynn, this is a great dish to make for your family and friends. And I'll tell you, what we can do is make the sauce and we can keep the sauce and you can microwave the sauce later on and run it through your pasta because you want to run it through your pasta while it's still fresh. And uh, that's why I thought, well, I'm going to make this for you today. I've just come back from golfing again, <laughs> another golf competition tomorrow. But anyway, make hay while the sun's shining, the sun's shining in Scotland, so I'm gonna try and golf as much as possible. So I'm just coming on closer here. Suzanne, nice to see you. Rebecca, oh, you've been planting plants for your dad, Aileen, that's lovely. I'll have a look, I'll check it out on Facebook. Absolutely. Now I know normally there's some late, mostly it's all women on here, which is great, but I know there's some secret men watching on here. And I know Monica Heaney's Norman, who just turned 75. So Norman, I hope that Monica and all your friends give you a very happy birthday. And uh, I know I have some secret men watchers on here. So hey, if you are a secret man watcher, you can make this for your wife in like five to ten minutes all right and you're gonna like totally blow her away make sure you get a nice bottle of wine maybe a little bouquet of flowers and a lovely salad to go with it all right so the first thing we're gonna do is I'm just turning my frying pan on only on a medium heat okay uh, let me see I'll get my my little wooden burnt spatula well used as you can see and I'm gonna Turn this down because I only want it on very much on a medium heat. I don't want anything boiling. I don't want my cream boiling or anything. So I'm putting three tablespoons, a quarter cup of butter into my pan, melting that first. I'm just gonna let that melt for a second. It won't take a minute. 
So remember, there's no nothing, there's no flour to thicken this up. Purely we're relying on the uh, double cream and the Parmesan cheese. I've got about a cup and a half of Parmesan cheese here, grated, freshly grated. Get the best Parmesan you can buy, you get the best flavor out of that. I've got some double cream, which you would call like a heavy cream in the United States. I've got a couple of cloves of garlic chopped up here. Now go easy on the garlic. I'm playing golf tomorrow, so I don't want to overpower everybody with my garlic breath. So I've got two cloves of garlic. Mind you, it was a very big garlic bulb, as you can see. I probably could have used one. So um, don't overpower with garlic because you want your Alfredo to be really, really lovely, creamy, Parmesan-y, and not too like, ah, I just ate a whole garlic clove. Okay, so that's the important thing. We're melting our butter, then we're gonna put, I've got uh, between eight and 10 ounces of cream. This is 10 ounces, and I'm just gonna pour that in. Ooh, boy, this is rich. Uh, everything in moderation, right? <laughs> everything in moderation. Hi, Rita, Helga, Claudia, Barry Campbell, hi, and Carmen. Great to see you girls all coming on. Okay, so as I said, everything in moderation, all right? So, and Evie, if you like this recipe, it's worth making it the classic way, which is like this. I'm gonna put my garlic in there now so it infuses with my cream and my butter. You'll see I've got about uh, some lovely fresh chopped parsley here as well. I'm going to put that in last. So we'll just get the, the cream and the butter all mixed in together. And let that all nicely infuse with the garlic, which is going to be lovely. I've also got about, mm, this is a small cup, so I wouldn't call this an eight ounce cup. I would say this is about three quarters of a cup of frozen peas. So uh, we're gonna put them in there too, just to add another dimension. I've also got a couple of chicken breasts here, which I haven't cooked yet. I'm gonna put them in the oven. I'm gonna chop them up and they're going into the Alfredo sauce as well. So I'm making a chicken Alfredo. So if you're vegetarian, obviously don't add the chicken. Uh, add the peas, parsley, and parmesan, and you've got yourself a wonderful vegetarian dish as well. So, hi, Susan. Hello. Good to see you. So, oh, I don't want this to boil. It's just about boiling. I don't want it to boil. So, just adding. This is a five-minute sauce, and it's a really classic sauce, and it's wonderful with pasta. So the next thing we're gonna do, very, very simply, is we're gonna add Parmesan. Now I've cut up one and a half cups, grated one and a half cups of Parmesan here. However, you will need probably another cup of Parmesan to add on top of your dish when you're just about ready to serve it with some lovely black pepper, okay? To just really bring out all the flavor. So, you know, probably get yourself prepared a two and a half cups of Parmesan and use one and a half to put into your sauce. So I'm gonna put that in now, all of it. Mix that through. And I just wanted to show you, this is such a classic, beautiful sauce. I'm gonna add a little pepper, although, oh, sorry, sea salt, not pepper, sea salt. Although your Parmesan has a little bit of saltiness in it. And of course, lots of black pepper. I love black pepper. If you wanted, if you're crazy about chili, it's not the classic Alfredo. You could add a few chili flakes in at this time. All right, I would just say chili flakes, not fresh chili would be better. There we go. We're just about there. I mean, that's how quick it is. All you need to do is boil your pasta, whether you use a fettuccine, whether you use a penny, whether you use a spaghetti, it doesn't really matter, okay? So I'm trying to give you some tips along the way here. <sighs> oh, good, Donalda, I'm glad you're feeling hungry. 
Good, good, Diane. I hope you do catch up on the replay. Hey, listen, while I'm chatting here, I just wanted to tell you girls, hey, I've got my first ever masterclass coming up on Friday. I hope that you're able to join. I hope that uh, you will take the time to register. Even if you are so busy, you can't join the masterclass, make sure you register because if you register, you'll get the video live. All right. I mean, you get a live copy of the video that you can watch in your own time, which would be great. And I've got a wonderful uh, award-winning chef joining me, Chef Alexia. Uh, put some comments below. I hope that you're going to come and join the master class. <laughs> I hope that you do. Hi, Joan. Hi, Paula. Marianne. I love pepper too, she says. Yes, I love pepper too. So I've got my parsley in there. And I just wanted to tell you a little bit about this sauce. I'm going to put my frozen peas in there. Oh, my goodness. So now we've got an Alfredo sauce. See how easy that was? Quarter cup of butter. Uh, ten, eight to ten ounces of cream. And one and a half cups of Parmesan. And two, one to two cloves of garlic. All right, that's it. Add in a quarter cup of parsley, chopped up, and if you want to add some peas, if you wanted to add some mushrooms at this stage to fill it out, that's why I like to give you my Mary's tips so that you can pan out your dish and turn it into something even more special. This can be doubled up, so I would say that this would cover the pasta on about for uh, coating for four people at the moment. And you can even add in your alfredo sauce when you're cooking your pasta if you want to thin your alfredo sauce out a little bit add two tablespoons of the uh, pasta water in there and it'll it'll uh, velvet it up a little bit okay it'll make it go a little bit further all right but add it from the pasta sauce because in the pasta sauce there's starch etc and it gives it a really, really nice flavor. So that's just another addition, another Mary's tip that I'm handing you there. And let me taste this, because I'm gonna be adding some lovely chicken to this later. I'm gonna roast these two chicken breasts. I'm gonna cut them all up, and then I'm gonna add them in. Now here, if you didn't wanna eat this tonight, all you need to do is put it into a container a plastic container and you've got it ready for the next day just heat it up the next day whether it's in a saucepan or your microwave whichever you prefer and then once your pasta is ready drain your pasta and mix it through the pasta and you've got a wonderful dish add some freshly grated uh, parmesan on top of that add some black pepper you're good to go make yourself a salad let's see what we're doing here Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, the flavors are so divine. Add some freshly grated Parmesan on top of it when you're serving it and you're gonna have a very special, wonderful Alfredo sauce dish. Okay, this is simple, simple dimple. You can make it, your children can make it with you. All right, I encourage that in every which way because they've stopped home economics at school. They're not teaching cooking anymore. And I'm sorry, you know, it stopped. Uh, it didn't stop when I went to school. I had home economics, but I'm sure your children aren't getting them. They're getting too much of this. Click, 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 click. That's what they get now at school. They don't seem to put any emphasis on being able to cook or emphasizing how important it is to make healthy, delicious meals for your family. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Laurie Jo, hey, how are you? I'm glad you came on and I hope you get a chance. Oh, Donalda, I closed my drapes here because uh, you called him Woody or some of you called him Pecker. I think I like to call him Henry because Henry reminds me of a, a lovely heron, heron that I used to have on my balcony in Florida used to come and visit regularly when my mother broke her hip she was sitting on the balcony some days for two and three hours kind of in the shade of course not frying <laughs> and uh, 
Henry used to come and visit her every day and used to sit there. And I got to tell you, he used to sit there for two hours some days. Couldn't believe it. And that was a, uh, no, he was a, hang on, he wasn't a heron. He was a white egret. He was an egret. And I knew it was him because he had a little funny eye. I <laughs> got his little marking. Sometimes you, you got to know, same with my seagull here who knocks on the window. You got to know his little markings uh, to know that he's the same one. Okay, because he might be going back and telling his friends, hey, there's a takeaway just there in Mary's kitchen. So go down there and get yourself a chicken sandwich. <laughs> They're so cheeky. <laughs> Oh, great, Laurie Joe, you're coming on the masterclass. I'm so glad. So if any of you haven't joined on the masterclass yet, please register. Go down in the Mary's Kitchen uh, uh, posts and have a look and find the www.healthymealsbymaryskitchen.com slash masterclass and join up. Make sure you do. We've got lots of people coming on and I've got some special surprises for you happening. Unbelievable with Chef Alexia. So I'm really, really happy to give this to you and present this to you. So have a wonderful, wonderful evening and thank you for joining me and I'm off to eat my uh, chicken alfredo shortly. Take care, have a wonderful day and remember if you see someone without a smile, give them yours. Lots of love. Bye.